近日，方舟基金首席执行官木头姐在接受阿西奥媒体采访时称，马斯克是我们这个时代的文艺复兴象征，他是我们时代的发明家，他有着无以伦比的能力来实现新的创新项目。我们认为，特斯拉的自动驾驶将成为全球最有影响力的人工智能项目。你们中的许多人可能已经拥有了特斯拉汽车，但是我相信很多华尔街的人并未接触过。他们并未充分理解最新的自动驾驶软件升级对全自动驾驶的深远影响。自动驾驶离成功已经如此之近了。今天，让我们一起来看看一下这段访谈。Uh, uh, we're looking to buy more Twitter here, you know.、Uh, so you like how he's doing? I, we are so excited by what he's doing. Now, regardless of your political leanings, when someone like Tucker Carlson. Leaves or、uh, is fired from、uh, Fox and says, "I'm putting putting the show on Twitter," which had just happened.、Um, something is changing in the media world, and I do believe、uh, Elon's push towards、uh, an everything app, a la、uh, WeChat Pay,、uh, he did start in the payments industry. I th- I think he's going to be successful. 木头姐，相信我们都很熟悉了。他是方舟基金的首席执行官、创始人和首席投资官。去年，马斯克斥资440亿美元将推特私有化后，木头姐通过其风投基金对推特进行了私募投资。他深信马斯克有能力将推特变革为一个与传统媒体截然不同的平台。传统媒体的平台充满了偏见，真正的言论自由并不存在。他们通过层层话术的引导，让观众去相信一些并不真实的信息。马斯克正在传统汽车和传统能源领域中掀起翻天覆地的变革，而现在他又正准备颠覆传统媒体。同时，木头姐也相信，马斯克会将推特改造成像微信那样，具有聊天、发帖、钱包等全功能的应用。But there's been reports that revenue is down. I think as much as by like 40% in December. Does that not concern you? I think that he. I think that the old model wasn't working. It was an unworkable model, and、uh, we had pulled away from it. They just weren't able to monetize, and I think he is going to be able to monetize. Sure, there was a shock value of Elon Musk and, you know,、uh, you know, his unceremonious,、uh, you know, firing of people,、uh, but they are turning cash flow positive.、Uh, I think their advertising is now picking up again. Uh, so from a new base, but they've fired 80% of the people, and you know what? I, I'm a big user of Twitter. It has not skipped a beat. Well, except for the you know the service being down here and there, but okay,、um, okay. So your your theory is that it's going to get worse before it gets better, and it's going to get better. Oh, I think it will get better. Okay,、um, you're also. An investor in Elon through Tesla, longtime Tesla investor.、Yes. Um, does it bother you that he's spending so much time on Twitter, on top of all his other non-Tesla jobs that he already has? I think he surrounded himself by brilliant people at Tesla, and and at SpaceX and his other companies.、Uh, I think he's our Renaissance man. He is、uh, the inventor of our age. Uh, and、um, he's got an enormous capacity to take on new projects. 当问及去年推特营业额下降了百分之四十，木头姐是否担心时，她表示，推特原有的盈利模式注定无法持久。她看到马斯克正在改革推特，新的业务模式正在稳步提升，盈利即将转正，广告商也在逐渐增多。正如我在上一期的视频中提到的。推特经营状况的改善将降低马斯克需要继续出售特斯拉股票以救助推特的可能性。这对特斯拉股价的长期稳定无疑是一个巨大的利好。I do think Tesla the most important project, and we think it's the most impactful AI project out there. Tesla, the autonomous project.、Um, uh, I don't know if you,、uh, yeah, many of you probably do have Teslas. Many people in the investment community clearly don't because. They don't understand what this last software upgrade did for full self-driving. I mean, I think they're almost there. 
And we think that that opportunity, so he's almost there, you know. We needed him to push and get us there, um, just like we needed him to push on the EV side and get us there. Uh, but he's almost there, and I do think he has time uh, to devote to Twitter. And I think, you know what? If he's happy, I'm happy. You know, he's excited. He's excited, which is uh, fantastic. I'm going to ask you about autopilot in a second, but you mentioned that he surrounds himself with really smart people at his other companies. He hasn't gotten a CEO for Twitter yet. Like, do you expect him to? Do you want him to? I think he wanted to clean house first, and 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 you know, and and become more transparent. Certainly, uh, uh, make the algorithms more transparent and help people understand, you know, what is allowed and not allowed, as opposed to you know, uh, random censoring. So I think, I think he's on a mission there, and I think it's a, a good mission. He's definitely learning about content moderation, that's <laughs> for sure. So CEO coming eventually? You know, I, I, he says he wants to bring in a CEO, and, and I, th I, think, I think he really loves bringing the physical and the digital world together. Um, this is less that, uh, uh, however exciting it may be, but um, yeah, I, uh, I, I think that he will bring in a CEO. Mutoji 认为自动驾驶将是本世纪最重要的人工智能革命项目。大部分华尔街的人并未拥有特斯拉汽车，他们并不了解特斯拉自动驾驶的最新更新已经离实现全自动驾驶如此之近。马斯克刚刚宣布了推特的新任首席执行官，这意味着他将有更多的时间去推动自动驾驶的发展。就像他过去推动特斯拉汽车的飞速进步一样。So back to autopilot. So I know the、um, NHT、uh, TSA regulators、um, are investigating autopilot possibility could be even taking it off the road during a recall. As an investor, does that concern you? I mean, autopilot is basically the Tesla promise. It's the magic. It's the vision. How monumentally bad would that be? Are you concerned? 我们可以注意到。这位主持人用各种手段试图诱导木头姐说出一些关于特斯拉的负面内容，这也提醒我们，在众多关于特斯拉的负面新闻中，我们需要审慎鉴别其真实性。Um, no, we're not.、Uh, we learned、um, they brought out data, disclosed data, which showed that a Tesla car with full self-driving is six times safer. Than the average car on the road, it has one、uh, accident every 3.2 million miles,、uh, whereas the average car has one accident every 500,000 miles. If you were to compare the new Tesla FSD with those,、uh, the ones that didn't have that or don't have that capability,、um, it's it's. It's six times safer than the average car, five times safer than the old Tesla cars. Now, if there's one thing the National Highway and Safety Transportation Association (NHTSA) needs to pay attention to, it is fatalities. We've had decades of fatalities in autos coming down、uh, since the safety driving measures, safety belts, and so forth started、uh, upon the scene in the 70s. Uh, it went down practically. I'm, I'm not sure where the peak was, but、uh, it was at least double where it is now. It it dropped dropped to 35,000 around the time we started Arc, and to 30,000, and now it's back to 45,000. That is just in the last eight years. Why is it? It's because of texting and cell phones and so forth. Um, that is their mission. They need to make the roads safer. And one thing I know: every time they examine a fatality,、uh, why don't they examine all the other fatalities out there on the road? The other, th the the ones that kill forty five thousand people a year. You only hear about Teslas. It's kind of crazy. But anyway, when they examine those fatalities, odds、uh, odds. Well, most of the time, the majority majority of the time. Uh, they conclude that it is the driver's fault.、Uh, there's so much、uh, monitoring, so many sensors within the car, and、uh, and they come up with yet another metric that says, you know what, Tesla cars are safer than most cars out there. But people have gotten into crashes while on autopilot because they're 
doing other things and not paying attention. Well, they're supposed to be. I mean, if you've used autopilot, you know you have to be paying attention. Uh, you have to, and they tell you you have to. Um, uh, it is this last upgrade. I'm glad they're, they beep at you and just make you put your hands on the wheel and keep focused. Uh, this last upgrade is, is pretty astonishing, though. 谈到全自动驾驶系统的问题时，木头姐认为自动驾驶即将成为现实。据最新的路面数据显示，使用特斯拉自动驾驶的事故率比未使用的低五倍。这是推动自动驾驶得到交通管理部门批准的最好数据依据。因为交通管理部门的使命是将每年的交通事故率，尤其是导致死亡的事故率控制在最低。近几年，这一数字在持续上升。这也将推动他们接受自动驾驶技术的进程。Uh, they have put together test our new Tesla model. I mean the updated Tesla model, which has gotten some publicity. Uh, the um, target price for 2027 now is $2,400, and we're at $170. And most of that, a good part of that, is autopilot. In、uh, 木头姐的最新方舟模型预测，到2027年，特斯拉的估值将达到2000美元。在他的模型中，特斯拉有 85% 的概率在2025年前实现全自动驾驶，到2027年前实现全自动驾驶的概率将达到 100% 从各种迹象来看，全自动驾驶的实现可能比大多数人想象的要更近。然而，由于缺乏准确的数据，华尔街的机构在进行估值模型的构建时，通常不会将全自动驾驶的业务考虑进去，所以。我认为，在二十一世纪或许是最伟大的人工智能技术完全实现之前，我们应当先进行资金布局。这也许是我们散户相较于机构的优势所在。如果你想更详细的了解方舟基金两千美元的估值模型，看看其中汽车、自动驾驶、能源、保险等业务在估值中的具体占比和实现几率，可以点击我这个视频，里面会有非常详细的介绍。好了，这就是今天的全部内容。如果你喜欢，别忘了订阅我的频道，我们下次见。